You bought in Canon EOS R10, started doing continuous shooting and the buffer wants full in about a second. Let me explain how to fix it. Okay, what's the problem? The Canon EOS R10 itself is a pretty fast, amazingly fast camera, at least for that price point. So you get up to 23 frames per second in full image quality. That's amazing. Unfortunately, Canon saved a lot of money on the image buffer. It runs full in, yeah, roughly a second, as you heard in the test in the very beginning. So how to extend the time so you can enjoy the fast speed a little bit longer. The best bet is to reduce image quality. You could go into JPEG, but of course, maybe you want some yeah, more possibilities afterwards in your wall converter. So my choice would be to use C war instead of war. It's an yeah more or less new war format. It's a little yeah up to 30-30% smaller image files, and therefore you can almost double the time. So you can hear yeah two, two and a half seconds full speed. So that's maybe okay for most applications. If you want to further increase the amount of time you can spend in full speed, best possibility uh, going into the continuous shooting menu and switching from H plus to H. So your continuous shooting speed is therefore reduced from 23 to still fast 15 frames per second. But as you can hear, yeah, it's a bit slower, but it lasts much, 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 much longer. Not infinitely, but it's kind of okay, as you can hear. So that's almost, yeah, no limitations at all. So combining C war instead of war and H instead of H plus, you have, yeah, eight to 10 seconds with full speed. And as you hear, only minor interruptions. So for me, totally fine, yeah. A little reduced speed, a little reduced image quality, but that's it. Okay, I lied to you. Well, kind of. That's not the full solution for the problem. What you still need is a really fast SD UHS-2 memory card. Otherwise, you're running in the same problem because the image buffer is still really tiny and the camera isn't capable of saving fast enough to the memory card to emptying up the image buffer. So everything you heard before, we're taken with the Sony Tough G, one of the fastest SD memory cards currently available. You can also take yeah, other really fast SD UHS-2 cards like the Kingston Canvas React. I set the camera back to 23 instead of 15 frames per second, but still compressed war instead of normal war format. So the two seconds you heard in the beginning or one of the tests I did. So that's absolutely fine. We tested over 80 memory cards with the Canon EOS R10. If you want to find all results, then check out the link in the video description below. You can, of course, choose a little bit slower cards like the new Say brand Rocket V60. So writing speed is instead of 250 megabytes per second, more in the 150 to 170 megabytes per second range. So a bit slower and you can hear that was the image buffer and there's a tiny difference in terms of speed, but not too much. You can go even slower with the UHS-1 cards, but that's not my recommendation. I will demonstrate the problem with the Sendis Extreme 170 megabytes per second, one of the yeah, best-selling cards on the market for quite some time. So same test, 23 frames per second, C1 instead of war. So we are in the image buffer and that's already it. So that what you get with an UHS-1 SD card and still a very fast UHS-1 SD card. So if you only want to shoot continuous shooting once in a while, I will still go for an UHS-2 memory card, especially since the not too fast models like the Sabrent V60 or a Kingston 1800X are not too expensive as well. So do yourself a favor and not save too much money on your memory cards. 
As already mentioned, if you want to check out all results, all memory cards, updated price performance recommendation every hour, then check out the link in the video description below. I hope this video was helpful to you. If so, please leave a thumbs up. If you have any more questions, please don't hesitate and ask them in the comment section below. And if you really enjoyed this video, want to know more about memory cards and photography gear in general, please consider to subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.